In this video, we're going over the top five problems on this third generation Honda CRV. Number one, the AC compressor. You may notice that while you're driving, especially in the summertime or when you need the AC to work, it's not working. The common problem for that is the AC compressor itself, and it's located way down at the bottom of the motor, below the alternator. It's not easy to access. The internals of the AC compressor will fail and it's gonna have to be replaced. Unfortunately, it's not that easy to just do a DIY replacement of the AC compressor. You need a special evacuation tool to recover the refrigerant and replace the system. Number two, the starter motor. Now, the starter motor is located in the front of the engine, right up here. It's a little bit on the high side, a little bit tricky to get to. Some of the symptoms you may notice with the starter being bad or going bad is the vehicle won't start. It may happen intermittently or it may happen all the time. Temporarily, if you're stuck somewhere and you have a small hammer, you can give the starter motor a tap. Just be careful while someone's actually turning the key. The tricky thing about this is the starter motor is fairly high up. It's not easy to access. Number three, the wiper motor. You may notice while you're driving down the road and you try to engage your wipers, they're not working properly, or when you go to shut them off, they don't turn off, they keep wiping. The wiper motor is located under this cowl. You would have to remove all this stuff to access it. And the wiper motor has the board on the motor itself that controls whether the wipers stop or go. If you have any of those symptoms, most likely it's the wiper motor and you just need to replace the motor itself. Number four, the door lock cylinders. Now, because you have a key fob, you don't use it a lot, but in those emergencies where the key fob's not working right, you want it to work. Sometimes because the lack of use, it's gonna seize up and it's not gonna work. That being said, it's a good idea to just use your key once in a while, just make sure it works. And they do make special lubricants for door lock cylinders. So use some of that, keep it working. Number five, the blower motor. Now the blower motor on this vehicle is located like most underneath the glove box. It's fairly easy to replace. And what you may notice when you turn your heat or AC on, it's not working or it's making a lot of noise. If it's making a lot of noise, it's always a good idea to take the blower motor out, just inspect to make sure there's no debris in there causing the noise. Otherwise, it's gonna need to be replaced. So there's our top five problems for this Honda CRV. Overall, these are great vehicles. If you enjoyed this or it helped you out, make sure you subscribe to our channel, ring the bell, turn on all notifications so you don't miss any of our videos.